Hello, everyone. And welcome to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. That's right, today we begin our playthrough on this legendary series of games. You guys have been asking me to play through this series for as long as I can remember, and today I'm finally going to deliver. I've just somehow never gotten to these games before. I've only heard great things about this franchise and just never given it a shot until today, and man, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited. I mean, everyone's heard of Phoenix Wright, right? So, <laughs> with that being said, let's jump straight in to the first game in the series. This one, yeah, in episode one, the first turnabout. I don't even know what that means, but uh, yeah, let's get things started. I, uh, I, I see someone's spilling Kool-Aid everywhere. Oh no, it's on this priceless piece of art. Why would you do that? Oh, that gonna leave a stain. I ain't happy about that. Dang it! Why me? Ugh. I can't get caught. Not like this! Preferably like this! Ugh. I've got to find someone to pin this on. Ugh, he ugly! Someone like him. <laughs> I'll make it look like he did it! Instead of me! <laughs> okay, well, I guess there goes the mystery of that. Uh, August 3rd, 9.47 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby number two. Dang, they waking up early. Oh my god. Ooh, this is pretty. Holy crap. Boy, I'm nervous. Uh, right, yeah. Oh, no, that's his name. Crap. Yeah, right. Dang, girl! <coughs> Hi, Chief. Holy crap. I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you. And your client as well. G uh, thanks! Uh, <laughs> actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A, a favor? You mean you knew the defendant before this case? Uh, yeah? Are we not supposed to do that? I don't even know! Okay, um, a actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons why I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out. Wait, that's her. That's him talking crap. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much, you know? It's over. My life. Everything, it's all over. What the crap? Uh, is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, that's him. Death! Despair! <laughs> I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna die! It sounds like he wants to die. Uh, we should probably go stop that. Yeah. <laughs> what the? Hey there, Larry! Dude! I'm so guilty. Tell them I'm guilty! Well, why would you want that? Give me the death sentence! I ain't afraid to die! What? What? What is wrong with you, Larry? Dude, what up? Uh, it's all over. I, I'm finished. I can see the bright lights. Wow, they're really, really sparkly. Ow, my eyes. What? I can't live in a world without her. I can't! Who? who why is his name Boots? <laughs> who, who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Nick, you gotta tell me who took my baby away. Well, uh, maybe the dude in the opening with the mole. Person's responsible for your girlfriend's death. Newspapers say it was you? <laughs> but I guess it's our job to prove otherwise? Uh, my name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. Uh, a young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Oh, crap. <laughs> Larry Butts. <laughs> My best friend since grade school. <laughs> Our school had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> it's pronounced boots! Yeah, okay. Uh, in the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been trouble. <laughs> He's had a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, is usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. Oh, but I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That I own one. Which is why I took the case to clear his name. 
And that's just what I'm gonna do! Yeah! After this monologue, uh, okay. Dang, we getting straight into- I like this! There's not like a- Like, we're just already starting in the courtroom- Literally! Holy crud, this is- This is a change of pace. I did not think of a voice for this guy, um... I guess it's kind of boring if every old man is just the same, so... Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Lara Boots. Uh, Your Honor, it's Butts. Uh, the prosecution is ready nonetheless. That is you. Uh, th uh, the defense is ready, Your Honor. I, do I don't know how court works. Do we re-raise our hands? I don't... Ahem. Mr. Wright. This is your first trial, is it not? Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, y yes, Your Honor, I'm a little nervous, but let's just keep that between us, okay? Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. Right up there with loitering. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Th thank you, Your uh, Honor. Um, Boy, don't make me say it again. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have... Have a test to ascertain your readiness. Yeah, sure, homie. I mean, you're on. Oh god, hands shaking, eyesight fading. Mo something about mom's spaghetti. The test will consist of a few simple questions. Uh, answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in the. <sighs> oh. Okay, <laughs> I'm not that stupid. I'm pretty dumb, but I know that it's Larry. The defendant, well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Mm-hmm. Just keep your wits about you. You'll do fine. Unless you're, you know, he did kill her, but yeah, whatever. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me what's the victim's name. Uh, we didn't get that in the memo. What? I know this one. Glad I read the case cover. Case report cover to cover? I didn't do that! It's, uh, wait, oh my god, okay, <laughs> it's just a tutorial. I'm legit already sweating, yo. As we know, I'm always the type of individual who think using purely logic and objective reasoning. Just kidding, I'm an idiot. Uh, all right, no way, I forgot, I'm drawing a blank, holy crap. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? <laughs> you don't even know the victim's name? <sighs> uh, Oh, the victim, of course. I know the victim's name. Uh, please, don't look at me like that. Uh, what, what was her name again? I don't know, but man, she is gorgeous. Uh, I just forgot. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. <laughs> I'm sorry! Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Just press tab to... I'm playing on a PlayStation controller. I don't know what the frick that is. Um, Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Okay, sweetie, I will try. Uh, Master Rot, who's a victim in the cold cut? I, uh, 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 okay, I gotta figure out what button that is on my controller, crap. Uh, I'm pressing everything, I don't know. Oh God, I found it, okay, sweet. So we have our attorney's badge, which looks like a weird donut, and we have Cindy's autopsy report. Yeah, I'm gonna go on and women say the person of interest here is named Cindy. Oh, freak, okay. We also gotta look at the pictures of the people. Winston Payne? Ugh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so Cindy Stone, the victim in this case, a model. She lived in an apartment by her... How will Larry do... Hold up, now. You know, I'm sure he's a great guy, but, like... I'm just saying. Anyways. Oh, my God. M Mia? Chief attorney at Fay & Co., my boss, and a very good defense attorney. Sh you sure she's 27? Oh, man, she is a pretty... All right, let's, uh, yeah. Now get distracted by flirting with my boss. Uh, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Now, now tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was... Your Honor, why are you helping her? I'll, I'll, I'll get you in a second now. Uh, well, she was. She didn't die from statue poisoning, so I'm going to say uh, that. She was struck once by a blunt object. Mm, yeah, you're very good at this, mister. Answer all my questions. See no reason why you shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. I, on the other hand, have had constipation for years, and I wish I would... Okay, thank you, Your Honor, please. Okay, I don't feel relaxed. This is for <laughs> I mean, how hard can the tutorial level be? I don't know. Well, then, uh, first question for the prosecution, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Wright just told us, 
The victim was struck with a blown object. Did you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was the statue of the thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it as evidence. Ah, look at it. It's just thinking. What you thinking about, Phoenix? I wonder. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in the court. Don't worry, honey. I've done a couple class trials. I know what's going. Do not call me, honey. That is not okay. I'm sorry. Use. The I don't know what that button is. Shut up. Ah, Mr. Payne. The prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. Um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any info that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. <laughs> you know he gonna! Uh-oh. Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. <laughs> oh, God. What's he gonna say? Look at this dude! <laughs> Ahem. Mr. Uh, Butts, it is not true that the- is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? <laughs> hey, watch it, buddy! We were great together! We were Romeo and Juliet! Cleopatra and Mark Anthony! Uh, Kyoko and Mako- uh, they're- uh, whatever. Um, didn't they all die? <laughs> Holy crap, they did- I wasn't dumb. She just wasn't taking my phone calls. Or seeing me. Ever. Uh, what's it to you anyway? He's literally the- Bro, you were so stupid. Mr. Butts, what you described is generally what we mean by dumped. At least in the court sense of the word. <laughs> in fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. Might I add, they were far more, uh... Well, you know. She <laughs> We so mean to say... She had just returned from overseas with one of them, the day before the murder. What do you mean, what, what if the, my princess lies? All of it lies. I don't believe a word of it. Uh, could I literally defend anybody else? Oh my God, uh, your honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Perry until the day, why'd I say it like that? What, what am I trying to be all fancy for? Shut your, until the day before she died. Password. Nice. Alright, uh, yeah, I'll say it indeed. She may as well return the day before the murder. Dude! No way! <laughs> the victim was a model, but uh, did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddy. What? The hey, you don't know what maybe he does. I don't. Uh. D daddies? Sugar? You can't just get sugar from your neighbor, not your dad. What the heck is he talking Older men, yes, who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude! <laughs> like this is how I would talk if I was in the court of law, which thankfully I have not been. Uh, we can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right. Oh, uh, I don't pay attention. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. I can relate. Should I, um... I kind of want to see what he says, but I feel like that's a bad option. But Mia literally told me to stop him from answering. Maybe I should ask another question. I'm allowed to do that, right? I'll go for it. Screw it. Oh, snap. <laughs> My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to the case. Ooh! <laughs> he literally goes, oof. Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? I'm, st I'm still popular and hip. Uh, <laughs> I cannot get over this sprite of him. <clears throat> that cheating she-dog. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. Yeah, and when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna get to the bottom of the, what the, fr bro. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? Come on now. I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. I mean, I'm... I'm like 77. I see it clear as day. Oh boy, this is not looking good. We are dead. Uh, next question. Was I... Did I screw up? Uh, you went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder. Did you not? Well, 
did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did. And maybe I did. <laughs> what the crap is this guy doing? Uh-oh, he wins. Uh, what do I do? Stop him from answering? Uh, I don't know, because my gut is telling me, no, he should be honest. Because, you know, he is under oath, right? Bro, I don't know. When's the last... Freak, dude. Yeah, answer honestly. What's wrong with that? I know, I'll send him a signal. Oh, okay, shoot, or do that. Uh, <laughs> bang on your desk, bro. Tell the truth. Why is he pointing at me? Hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I was there. I went. Uh, we good? Oh, okay. Order. Me some food, I'm hungry. Uh, well, Mr. Butts. Dude, chill. <laughs> she wasn't home, man. So, like, I didn't see her. What the crap is... What, that guy's voice is heinous. What? Your honor, the defendant is lying. Lying? What the hell? The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that simplifies matters. Okay, where the heck is he, huh? The man who found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Bro, we're how the frick are we gonna get out of this? What? Hold on the court now, hold on the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Get him over here now. Y yes, Your Honor. This is bad. Bro, just let me, just give me the controller. Holy crush, he knows what the credit. No, wait, we're fine. We're defending, you know. Let him, let him do his thing, and we'll, we'll counter it, you know. I guess. Uh. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawit. What the crud are these names? <laughs> to the stand. <laughs> Ugh. Bro, what the? Mr. Sawit. You sell newspaper subscriptions. Is this correct? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't be his voice. Newspapers? Yes. Mr. Saw, so, you may proceed with your testimony, but don't make it too long. I got stuff to do. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Okay. Witness account. What dump I do? I guess just listen. My biggest weakness. I was going door to door, selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving. <laughs> Dead! I quailed. Wait, qu qu quailed? That's a word? <laughs> in fright! and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Uh, hmm, yeah, that, that, he did it. God dang. I, Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? Holy crud. I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Bull crap. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Uh, 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 phone's supposed to work during the blackout. Now, come on now. Get it together, phones. <laughs> Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Saw It used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your proposal. Dang. It's true, then. But did Saw It actually cause the blackout? Electricity in Miss Stone's building was out from noon to six on the day of the crime. Crud. Now, Mr. Wright. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was... Well, uh, yeah, Your Honor, what's up? You may begin your cross-examination. You know what that is? You need another tutorial. Uh, cross-examination... Um... All right, Mr. Wright. 
This is it. The real deal. Um, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why you expose the lies and the testimony the witness just gave you. L lies? What? He wasn't lying? Or was he? Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in this testimony. What? Crud. Or is your client really guilty? Crud, dude. T how do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in the... The autopsy? I think it is. First, find the contradictions between the record count, or the court record, and the witness's testimony. Then once you've found the contradiction evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Um, yes ma'am. Open the court record with that button you literally do not have on your controller, then point out the contradiction in the testimony. Okay, um, what the dump? So, I'm not sure on the controls of this, but I'll give him my best shot. I was going door to door, so okay. I can press this, right? Yeah, and look at everything. All right, I'm just gonna take a minute to like figure stuff out, okay? So if my understanding of everything is good so far, right? It's clearly there's a contradiction with the times, and I, if I press Y, I can basically bring up that argument. But I don't know if I should do that yet. I kind of want to read what the cruddy said first. So, and I saw him fleeing the apartment, which is true. I thought he must be in a hurry, because the door's half open, which is, I guess, true as well. Being a stranger, looked inside the apartment. I saw her lying there, a woman not moving dead. Quail and fright, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I'd call the police. However, the phone in her apartment was not working. I turned a nearby park and found a public phone. Remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. That's... That's sus. Because she... Did she die at that time? I don't think she... Wait, that that's it, right? 1 p.m.? Are you certain? Uh, y yes, absolutely. Hmm... Seems really confident. 1 p.m.? Right. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Yeah. But I'm not sure why! Present some evidence to contradict him. What are you doing? Uh, I don't... Eh, okay, um... What do we got? What do we got? The autopsy. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m., but the autopsy said she died around 4 to 5. You're telling a lie, mister! You found the body at 1 p.m.? You're sure? Uh, yes. It was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe! Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. There was nobody to, er, no body to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain this? Three hour gap, <laughs> mom, man, this is so cool! Um, oh, that, <laughs> uh, oh, what the crap? This is trivial! The witness merely forgot the time. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe now. Mr. Saw it. Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, uh, well, I, gee, that, that, that's a really good question. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. But, but really? Point out the contradictions? That's easy, shoot. Heck yeah. Lies always beget more lies. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. All right, I'm liking this so far. This is cool. Oh, oh I remember. Remember now. Would you get a share with the class? I mean, the, the, the courtroom? God dang. Get on with it, brother. I'm not your brother, though. All right. The time of discovery. So just more lies. Here we go. Um. Uh, you see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? If there was a blackout, how was the TV on? I guess the victim must have been watching a video on a taped program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. <gasps> Will you ever forgive me? No, I won't. You don't... <laughs> okay. So chill out. Hmm, there it is. Yeah. I heard a voice saying the time on a tape program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Uh, right. Yeah, what up? You know what to do. Do I? Ah, yeah, I got this one. 
Yeah. I'm like so second guessing myself. But holy crud, I gotta like pat the creator on the back. This is the best like tutorial thing in a while I've played. And yeah, 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 you suck butts. Uh, let's. So I need to press and then present, right? I'm pretty sure that's what I did last time. It's three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim was watching a TV. I think that's what I gotta do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. A video? Yes, that would explain why the time was wrong. True, true. Right? I think the problem lies someplace else. What? Really? We agree that you heard the time of the scene. Yeah, yeah, come on. I was... Huh? Do I lose points for that? I don't think so. Um... Crud. You notice anything suspicious? I don't... I guess it was the wrong part, but I kind of have the right idea, right? I'll level with you guys. I know I'm pretty dumb, but like... Come on. I ain't that dumb. Blackout record. But if he's saying it's... Three... Yeah, from noon to six! Hold up! That's bullcrap! Okay, I got it. Hold it right there! The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. <laughs> this guy sucks. <laughs> you couldn't have heard a television. Or a video! Cell phones weren't invented yet! <laughs> ah, well... The defense has a point, you know. Do you have any explanation for this, Mr. Sawit? Ah, uh, I... I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite, quite, quite. <laughs> Woo, it's hot in here. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. Oh, I remember now. M Mr. Saw, please keep your accent consistent. This is all over the place now. I can't. Oh, my God. The court would prefer to have an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant contradictions are harming your credibility. And frankly, I don't think you did saw it. You might have. Mm, that and you. S wait, this is the judge talking crap. That and you seem rather. Distraught? Like, dang, boy, leave some sweat for the fishes. That don't even make sense. Well, I'm not southern colloquialisms. Oh, my God. My apologies, Your Honor. <laughs> it uh, must have been the shock of finding the body. <laughs> Whatever! <laughs> Very well, Mr. Salt, whatever you say. Uh, let's hear your testimony one more time, please. Yeah, come on. Can you make you can make this even easier for me? I, uh, I want to take Miss Mia out to lunch. You feel me? Uh, actually, I, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. But what? Huh? You saw a clock? I guess I would explain it. He's rather convincing, I must say. The defense may cross-examine. You get it by now. Gladly. Uh, crap. What was I doing? Okay, hearing the... But she was killed with the the piece of artwork, right? In fact, I'm pretty sure it's the last thing he said. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. Which isn't technically a lie. That must have been what I saw. But he's saying the murder weapon was something other than what it is. That's not right. That's right. This guy. Haha, -ha, I'm so funny. Not at all. The murder weapon. Y yes the table clock that was used as a weapon. Bruh, you suck! Oh my god, get out of my courtroom. Wait, oh, I can't do that yet. Dang it. That's what I just said. Did you toes off in the middle of my testimony or something? Something's fishy here. Hmm. 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 Phoenix, just god dang do it. Okay, sorry. Uh, here we go. The statue. That's actually the killing weapon. Wait just a moment. I'm going to slam my hands on the desk. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was this statue that I stole from the police. I mean, now that. How is this supposed to be a clock? Last time I remember, statues can't tell time! Ah! You, what? With your objections and your evidence, just... Who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Sawit. Hey, I... I, I saw it there, okay? That's a clock! Uh, y your honor, I if I may... Uh, yeah, yeah, Mr. Pan, what's up, man? As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a sw... Crud! 
you just tilt it and you says the time out now. It doesn't look like a clock. I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. Crap! What? Oh, yeah, see, that makes perfect logical sense. So the murder weapon is also a statue and a clock. Okay, all right. Well, Mr. Wright, you gonna turn your theme off now and let the other person talk? Or it appears the witness testimony was correct. This is, in fact, a clock. Do you have any problems with the testimony? Uh, uh, yeah, I do. But, like, I don't know if I should say that yet, because how the crud would he know how that statue operates? The crud? Screw it, I'm gonna go on my gut. Yeah, I got a problem. Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand! Whoa, we got him! Yes, the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. How could he do it? Yeah! Clearly a contradiction! Yeah, that makes sense. The witness knew it was a clock because he... He went into that apartment! He's lying! You're lying! You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder! Uh, oh, oh, yeah, prove it! P prove I went in there! <laughs> Gladly. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her! Whoa. Phoenix Ride is awesome! <laughs> you struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. Oh my god! That was the sound you heard! Bro, we got him! This is over! Hold on the court now, this level needs to go on for 10 more minutes. I'm intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. I mean, we literally saw in the opening scene. <laughs> Mr. Saw It, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Uh, understandably, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim, that voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. Holy crap. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? I'm not sure you know what that word means. Just look at the witness's face. He's so ugly. Ugh, get him out of here. Uh, I will definitely agree with that. Now, what? The witness? Care to elaborate on how ugly Mr. Saw was? Did you just strike the victim? <laughs> is he the witness? <laughs> oh, crap. Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, uh, that, that, that day, I, I never. Look, I, the, the, I, I, the, <laughs> what the crap? <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, I hate you. It was him, I tell you. I saw him. He killed her. And he should burn, burn, give him death. Hold on now, now that was incredibly suspicious, but we need to drag things out forever. So, uh, order in the court, I say. Y your honor, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense. <laughs> now, I know this is a actual court of law, but don't make me come over there and slap you the next week, Mr. Payne. I'll show you Mr. Payne. He's me. <laughs> Mr. Wright, do not! <laughs> Is that a threat? Uh, no, Your Honor, it wasn't. Uh, you claim the sound witness heard come from the clock. Do you have any evidence? Uh, the whole case is writing on this. I'd better think it through carefully. Because as we all know, that is my strong suit. Uh, Your Honor? The sound Mr. Saw it heard was definitely this clock. In fact, which is clear if you simply exam- uh... Yeah, why don't we just- wait, no, that wouldn't work. How can we... How can we prove that he heard this? Uh... Maybe asking that... No, I don't know. I'm gonna try this one out. I mean, oh gosh, if we screw this up, we lose a good chunk of our e HP. Crap. Uh, go for it. Let's sound the clock now. Here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. Okay... I think it's 8.25. What? That certainly is a strange way to announce the time! Well, he is the thinker after all. <laughs> That's so silly. So, we heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, K-1 
Can you tell me what time it is now? Uh, it's 11.25. <laughs> As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Saw heard and the actual time of day. This is... Bro, I love this girl. This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember his old voice. I'm trying to improv the best I can. So what? Wait, that's Phoenix crap. <laughs> so, Mr. Saw It, try to talk your way out of this one. <laughs> I bet you can't. Eh? <laughs> you forgot one thing. Oh God, here it comes. What's he talking about now? While it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing! How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case! Man, shoot! He's right! How am I gonna prove that? Dang it! I was so close. Mr. Wright, you feeling alright? God dang it, I'm gonna say that a lot through this playthrough, I'm pretty sure. It seems you like the critical evidence to support your claim. Oh god! I'm dead. Yeah, uh, yeah, Your Honor. I'm, uh... This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Ah, oh, come What? Unfortunately. Uh, we, did we lose? This ends the cross-examination from Mr. Frank Sawit. Ah, uh, come all the way down here to testify and look what happens! You treat me like a criminal. A criminal, me? <laughs> you lawyers are all slime! No, I'm, I'm, I'm... I'm pretty cool. I almost had him. Darn it! Sorry, Larry. I failed you. Wait. Larry's gonna... What? There's nothing I can... Wait. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it now. Wait, legit? Not so fast, Mr. Saw. Oh my god. <laughs> Slay! Mia! Get him! Attack! Uh, uh, Mia? I mean, I mean, Chief. Uh, Listen up, Mr. Wright. Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. I don't wanna. But Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and... And... Think through it. G can't you just tell me, girly? Ah! Why do you have a Mitama as a necklace? I mean, it works. Shoot, I ain't, I ain't knocking it up. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason, and you'll have your proof. Right. Right? God, that's getting so old. <laughs> Can you think of a reason to why the clock would be three hours <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Of course I can. I'm the ace attorney, after all. Uh, wait! Maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, what you got? I'm trying to get out of here before we rush out. You know what I'm saying? You saw the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found the evidence to support this claim? Yeah. Totally. There's a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. <laughs> Tough words! Let's see you pull this one off! Now let's say it, Phoenix. I'm gonna see this crap too. What the hell's going on there? Uh, my attorney badge. No, um... The victim apparently arrived... No, that's not it. The blackout? Would that affect... Is this... Like... A battery-powered one? Or like one that has to be plugged in? I guess it's not... I guess it's battery-powered. But if that's the case... Oh man, I just need more info! Crud! Bro, the this is the only thing I can think of, right? This is the only piece of evidence we have not used yet. So Paris, unless Phoenix Wright also takes place in literally Paris, is on a different time zone than uh, wherever the crud this is. I don't know. Um, maybe she brought the clock with her? But that's stretching. I don't know. Wait, do we have to pick? Crap. Uh. YOLO! <laughs> uh, the victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. 
As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. So, wait, yeah, it's it's in a, it says on the thing we're in America. Oh, we got him for real, dude. He's dead. I mean, he's not literally dead. He's going to prison and then jail probably. I don't actually know how that works. Whatever. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow. It was nine hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Sot. Or should I say, looks at camera, Mr. Did it! <laughs> Oh my god. What the cr He did- Oh my gosh! <laughs> Bro! All the now, water, come on. I, I'm gonna tell you again. Jesus Christ. Is it over? <laughs> well, now, uh. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. This case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne? Your witness, is he, is he like. Is he with us still? Uh, uh he, uh. He was arrested and been taken away, Your Honor. God, whoa! Very well. I think it's uh, safe to say that uh, Mr. Butts was guilty. <laughs> Mr. Wright? Uh, y y yes, Your Honor, what up? I have to say, I'm impressed. I didn't think I'd ever see someone complete an offense so quickly. God dang, man. Find the true culprit at the same time. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Now, at this point, this is only a formality, but, you know. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts. It's pronounced Boots. Ooh. Not guilty. Heck yeah. Our homie goes free. Hey. Heck yeah. And with that, the course is adjourned. Yeah, no, the drum getting out of here. Jesus Christ, this thing's smelling. Okay, that turned out way better than I thought it would. Oh my God. It turns out that Frank saw it was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. That day, oh, Mr. Larry went to her apartment. The victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Saw let himself in to do his dirty work. Oh, and then she came back, crud. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Saw grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. God dang, that's evil. God, people are screwed up. August 3rd, 2.32 p.m. District Court, defendant... Okay, we, we know where the frick we are. Woo! I am being y'all! Oh my god! I still can't believe we won! <laughs> right. Good job in there. Congratulations. Th th thank you, Chief! Oh, I owe it all to you. I mean, you did most of the work. Really, you're just so great, and god dang, you're... Oh, gosh... <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the chief looking this happy. God dang, bro. Is she this glad? I imagine how Larry must feel. Yeah. <laughs> My life is over. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What the? What's wrong now? <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. What? what good. Wait, no, what? Uh, I mean, bad, bad. Do not die. What the crud? Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. You don't have to go to heaven. Oh, my God. <laughs> but I want to. No! Uh, but my Cindy went. <laughs> oh, my God. So, how did I do that noise? <laughs> gone. Forever. Gone, man. Forever. Larry, she was a... <sighs> Never mind, whatever. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, Harry? Uh, Harry? It's Larry! <laughs> yeah, whatever. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never grow up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this. Ever! Let's celebrate. Dinner? Movie? My treat, just you and me. Uh, oh no, I got him. <laughs> hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Come on, at least go to the movies or your best friend. What the frick? Oh, uh, hey. Uh, here, take this. It's a present. 
Yeah, I'm not sure I want a murder weapon uh, for me. Wait, wasn't this the evidence? <laughs> yeah, shouldn't that be confiscated? Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Okay. You made this. Wow. Um, well, thank you. I'll keep this as a memento. Cool. Yo, Nick, uh, can you believe it? I was so into that chick, and she was just playing me for a fool. Don't that make you want to just cry? <laughs> uh, Larry, this is my only suit. Um, are you sure? What, what, huh? Uh, excuse me? What the girl? <laughs> I think she thought quite a lot of you. In her own way. Aww. You don't gotta sympathize with me, it's okay. I'm not just sympathizing, really. It's not right, right. Do you have something to show your friend? Something that proves she, how she felt about him? What the frick? Ah, no, what? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, right, okay. Um, what the heck is she talking about? I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, blackout record? I, bro, I don't... I guess she, dude, if we fail the mission because of this or whatever this chapter is called, uh, here you go. She, take this. Check this out, Larry. It's the murder weapon. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Eh, what about the clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. She didn't take it to Paris and bring it back with her, you know. And she took it with her when she traveled. <laughs> whatever. She probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Man. Phoenix, dude, he is slick. Oh, this guy's awesome. Well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. Nope, no problem. I'm getting paid, right? What, um... I made him feel a little better. Uh, I know I would. But sugar daddies? What the, uh, anyway, uh, right, what up? I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Makes sense to me. Right. Listen, learn, and grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. O okay. Well, I think our work here's done. Shall we be off? Holy crap. <laughs> Shoot, this is a one-day work week? Holy crap. Heck yeah, let's peace out. Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner? On me? Oh, I mean, I was just gonna eat Chuck E. Cheese pizza, you know. Us lawyers ain't getting paid the best, but if you buy a shoe... We'll drink it to a toast to innocent butts. That came out so wrong. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah! Innocent butts! Hooray! Uh, speaking of Harry, um, you're saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I didn't mention that. What the... F uh, yeah, part of it at least, but not all of it. I mean, yeah. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks. <sighs> Sugar. Man, Phoenix, do not you do not screw this up, homie. Oh my god, I'm so tired of protagonists in this series not getting the or in all the games I play, not getting to go on a trick. Okay, uh so my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. It really hurt. I was not cool with that. We are not like that, but whatever. I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us. Unless you count the clock he gave. What the what? What the dump? Larry's a butt! <laughs> Crap. I didn't even intend that to happen. Um, I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. What? Why? Dude. What the crud does that mean? I swear to Ganache. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Wow. Just episode two straight off the bat. A brand new episode has been added. All right. Let's uh. Ah, crud. I don't know. 
I want to keep playing more. If I feel like one episode at a time is good. Screw it, YOLO! <laughs> We're going. Let's just check this out real quick. Okay. Starting off with uh, the most annoying phone sound in the world. Hello? This is Maya. From Persona? <gasps> hey, it's Maya. It's me. Mia? Wait, what? Uh, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How you been? Well, lonely. And it's all your fault. What the? What the crud? <laughs> this happy music does not fit. <laughs> nah, I'm just teasing. Oh, okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. These voices are identical. What am I doing? Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for... What the heck? Sharp as always. What the crud is going on? There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? What? Yeah, it's made to look like the statue of the thinker. And it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore. Okay, it's a, her sister. This all makes way more sense now. All right. Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. <laughs> I figured I'd give you some of your own medicine. I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Uh, it's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. P papers Is that evidence then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight by 9 to pick it up? I'll be a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good, not Chuck E. Cheese pizza. <laughs> like burgers? I could really go. Is this where the finish your cheeseburgers Apollo meme comes from? Oh my god. I finally know what that means. Holy crap. Like burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Yo, same. Shoot. Mm. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. All right. It's a deal. Okay, sis. See you soon. Yep. I'll be waiting, Maya. Ow. Conversation recorded? September 5th, 927. I need to remember these times, or I will probably die. God dang. September... Okay. So it's around 9. Gotcha. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers? I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. The heck? Miss Faye, you're a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be... The thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you no? <laughs> you are not cogniferous of my background. That's not a word. Gathering information is my business, you see. I, I should have been more careful. <laughs> my dear Miss Fay, I am so very sorry. I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, miss. What the? No! What the crud? No! Why does this always happen? God dang it. Red, white, blue. What the heck? Oh, come on, dude. No! I realize there's like literally three characters in this game, but she was the coolest. Come on, dude. Uh oh, I'm late. <laughs> That's strange. Guess the chief's left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. <sighs> this sucks. God dang it, dude. What's that smell? Blood? Mia, maybe she's in her office. <laughs> I smell blood, and that can't be good. I have to check and see if Mia, the chief's okay. Bro, go! I don't. Uh, I guess I gotta move to go. Uh. That smell. Blood. Bro, why? <laughs> what? Sis? Someone's there? Oh, oh my god, what the heck? Ch Chief? Chief! Chief! <laughs> what the? 
God dang, that sucks. Holy crud. Oh my god. Who are you? I mean, I'm not I'm not a scientist or nothing, but like they both got the necklace. This this might you know, you know, I guess he's in shock, whatever. Okay, oh my god, dude. The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Bro. Who would do- oh God, I'm so angry! <laughs> her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. And all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Bro, you- you- Is this really going on? Like, I'm so- like- I straight up did not see this coming. Why are they just gonna kill my girl like that? That's so Ugh! Chief. Okay, we gotta we gotta clearly examine what the Oh my god. Well, this game starts off pretty crazy, but oh um, I'm having a blast, as badly as that is to say, up till uh Mia died. That freaking sucked. Uh but I guess in the next episode of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, we're gonna find out what the crud happened here and take whoever did this to court. Probably. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. There's gonna be a whole lot more coming soon. I haven't had this much fun in a long time, but uh, that's all the time I got for today. See you next time. Bye.